Okay, so this is one of the next uh, ones I was sent out. <laughs> Gotta say, this is an awesome um, task. This is uh, is this come from James Cook, a student at James Cook University. Um, I have to say, and I'll and I'll say it now. Um, the student who asked about this sent me this. Um, they didn't ask for a solution. I didn't provide them a solution. They had a bit that wasn't working. They got stuck with a little bit. I gave them some advice on how to fix it. Um, this was uh, much earlier on in the year, so this would have been about, um, f I don't know, April time. Um, we're now in October. I'm going to assume that assignment has been done and in um, because I wanted to share it with you because I think this is absolutely brilliant. It's it's great to see universities do, um, pushing the boundaries of what Flowgrithm can do. I think this is an awesome little program. Um, and, they, uh, and they're clearly going to then take this on at a later date uh, and, and um, develop the Python for it as well as separately. I mean, obviously, we know that uh, Flowgrithm will create the Python for you, but I guess they'll then look at how um, they can make it more efficient because the P Python code produced from Flowgrithm, it, it works, but it's not the most efficient code. So this is a little golf game. Um, this is the, the description. Um, the ball starts at 230 metres from the hole, so it's a single hole game. The player chooses one of three clubs, so they can choose the club. Um, the, the ball is in the hole, the player's told how many swings it took them to get there. Um, there's loads of different little bits into it. You, you can choose different clubs. So you've got the, the driver is 100 metres, but it's a random number between 80 and 120. So he's got that randomness in. The putter's um, 30 metres. And the sorry, the iron's thirty meters. And the putter uh, is is ten meters. There was a little bit extra that star meant but that uh, when the ball is inside ten meters, putters use a shot be between eighteen and hundred twenty percent of this. So I think this is brilliant. It's got some really good um, things in it. It took me, um, and I find that say, I, th I think I'm pretty good at flag with them. It took me a couple of hours to go through this. So for the students, um, it must have been pretty challenging for them to do. Um, they give them some test days to use. I love to see this. We used to call this when I was at university a criterion reference grid. If you want any advice, students, start at this end. Look at, uh, at what you need, and then if you skip, if you can't challenge something, then maybe you're going to drop back. Never look at this end. Never start at the beginning and, and work up. You, you, you're asking for trouble. I see students do this at, at my school. They look for the, the minimum path of resistance. They'll look at what's limited, the, the basic settings, and they don't they miss something out which means they can't go up if you start by looking at what's required to get the highest possible grade and you can't do something or you miss down you're going to drop down a little rather than dropping down a lot if you're um, if you're starting to work from the basics but this was great um i've got my solution here you're not going to see it all on screen it it it's ma it, it is massive um i use couple of functions so I've got a, I created a RAM between function because Python doesn't support RAM between so I I, uh, I made my own RAM between function um, I've made my function for strike ball because obviously the one thing that it does all the time is is strike a ball you do it over and over again so it clearly stands out for a function um, depending on whether your club is a driver or an iron or a, a putter and I use the 80 20 uh, 81 20 ratio for each of them. I'm not sure you were supposed to do that, but I thought, ah, why not? You asked for it for that and that, so I worked out what those numbers were for my RAM between to do that. And then that obviously returns back um, the new distance to the pin. It does all the calculation for you. And then in the main code, if I can scroll over, if you can see that. So we've got all the variables have been declared. We've got the whole of the, the program going through now you're not going to see this and as the assignment I'm assuming is, is, is finished by now what I will do is I'll make this available for downloading because I just think as a task it's a cracking little task um, if the university gets upset with me uploading it and they want it removing because they're going to use the assignment again feel free to ask that's fine um, I just think this is great I'm, I actually uh, I gave this task to my uh, my sixth form students as a, as a little bit of a Easter project for them to do and they, they really loved it. I got them to write it um, in Flowgrithm and then um, make it more efficient in a uh, look at the Python that gave it and then make it more efficient. Um, some of my students came back and had done it in uh, in, in C as well so they'd, they'd taken another language and looked at it. Brilliant, I'm really impressed. So the code's there if anyone wants to have a look at it. Um, I think it's great, I'll, uh, I think I'll have a play. So we'll run the game, I'll put my name in 
this to be. Okay, so I can get my instructions up. So there's my instructions. I can play. Um, I'm 230. I've no shots yet, so I'm going to drive. Now 120. I think I need to drive again. Uh, I'm 10 meters away now, so I think I can put at that point. I'm in. Fantastic. Uh, let's have another go. Play again. So let's go for a driver. 150 this time. Let's drive again. Ooh, an iron there, I think. An iron. That puts me 22 meters away, so I'll have another iron. Nine meters away. Let's put that one and put that one. Oh, I'm still gone past it. There we go. And we're in that time. It took me 10 shots. <laughs> it's really good. Well done, Cook University, on coming up with a, a really clever, really interesting um, flow rhythm task. Much more exciting than the basic stuff that I've been seeing recently. Very impressed. Well done. And uh, I hope your students enjoyed it and hope they did well on it. Thank you very much for listening.